had wanted to mention doping as well, so I'll start with that. I've noticed that uh, there is uh, uh, something in the plan for detection and uh, punishment. I would like to suggest that we need to go the extra mile. We need to maybe partner with the ADAC and also go into prevention, which is education, yeah, as opposed to waiting for it to happen, because that's always negative news once it happens. It's never good for the game. If we can begin to get the clubs, uh, link them with ADAC, they, are, they do have and they are preparing uh, training, trainers and all these sort of things. And um, it would be much better for the game. We could even take the lead and sort of look like we are the ones who, in the country, are leading in the game to try and uh, look at uh, doping in the eye. Um, number two, uh, <coughs> development. Um, rather, first of all, there is uh, something about, we've said we want to get the Kenya team to the Rugby World Cup in 2019. And that is high performance. Um, we have had some tournaments and uh, I do have an interest in a way which have disappeared along the way which I think need to get back in terms of getting the pyramid of getting the best players to to play against each other as they head towards um, the, the pinnacle of deciding who is good enough to, to play at the top. Uh, at the developmental stage um, it would be nice if perhaps we could uh, be more transparent in the budgets that are allocated to development um, because we we do know that KRU is committed to development but we never quite feel or know how much is actually committed in funding uh, right from age grade through to the under 19 and maybe even uh, the women's rugby as well. Um, number four Kenya Rugby has got a budget now of at least 250 million shillings per annum and rising. Um, whether you like it or not, you're a fairly big company by Kenyan terms in terms of small, small, small micro enterprises. Um, many of them run on budgets below 100 million shillings. And uh, it would be good perhaps if the union now look towards actually running to a budget, um, a published budget which can enable it to actually carry out the events that they they set out to do. Because the feeling one gets is very often uh, um, the money is there, there are so many things to be done, but because there aren't things cast in stone, um, <clears throat> things that come at the 11th hour sometimes take, take over some of the funding and many other things that perhaps should have been done don't get done. And one of the biggest casualties is always development. Thank you.